Hey guys, just a quick word for those of you that's going to be on this fast coming up next month in a few days. Let me give you some quick tips right here. So let's go to Matthew chapter 6 and I'm going to start in 16. This is the word of Jesus. Matthew chapter 6 is Matthew. The book of Matthew period is filled with a lot of things, but found some pretty great information in here. I think will be very helpful for you guys. So let's go to Matthew chapter 6 and we're going to start at 16. And Jesus is saying here, moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, you, when you fast, anoint thy head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So guys, I just want to say real quick, everybody don't need to know that you're fasting. There's a lot of times I've been fasting and working. I was an active duty soldier, okay? A leader in the military, running clinics, doing all types of stuff, have duty, I'll have all types of things that I have to do to include taking care of my family. And when I was fasting, I was still cooking, okay? The only thing is, I just would under season, okay, because I can't taste anything. So I'll, I use my my judgment, but I made a rule because I wasn't tasting the food. I would just kind of under season it or not put as much so it's not too seasoned because you can always add some salt, right? So you don't want appear want to appear to be fasting, guys, okay? So that means... Anoint your face. That means get up, take a shower, put your clothes on, right? When you're going out, when you're going to go do some things, you don't have to turn into bridezilla. You don't have to turn to the bride of, like, become the bride of Chucky. You don't have to become a uh, Malachi from Children of the Corn. You do not become Chucky. You do not become Michael Myers. You are not going to become a Karen during this time, okay? You are not going to get weird on folks because some of you guys and or you may have experienced this. Somebody when they're fasting, the whole house is on alert. Everybody know they better not dare, dare crunch one chip, one chip around this person because they're going to be walling out. I'm fasting, I'm fasting. That is not what fasting is all about. Okay, if that's how you're going to act, just go ahead and break it. Nah, don't even don't even get on this fast because all you're doing is being hell on wheels. When you're fasting, guys, yes, it's very it's hard on the body, especially when you're doing like water only, depending on what you're doing. You you changing up the time that you're eating, you're eating later, all that stuff. You can get grumpy. That's a part of it. But you have to be calm. Okay? Fasting is not a death sentence, okay? You're not on death row for one week. You're not, you're not an Alcatraz, guys. This is a great opportunity. Our flesh don't like it, but it's a great opportunity for us to get closer to the Father. So pray for that. Those of you that's going to be on this fast, pray that the Lord will give you grace, will give you peace, okay? That you will be mindful of your reactions. To give you patience with your family. You guys, if you're going to be helping them with their homework, if you're doing anything like that, don't allow yourself to get frustrated. What you cannot do, leave it alone. Leave it to the teachers. What you don't understand, you just don't understand. What you explained already, explain it again. If they're not getting it, just walk them through the process. Just walk them through the process, show them again, and leave it alone. Don't allow yourself to get stirred up, okay? Your family should be able to eat and do what they need to do as usual. You're fasting. They're not fasting. You should be, I'm fasting. No, this is not okay, guys, okay? So pray about that. Ask for the peace of God. Because I'm here to tell you that when you set your mind to, 
to do the things of God, the Holy Spirit is going to give you the ability to do what you cannot normally do. Okay? And guys, when you mess up, if you happen to get grumpy, just catch yourself. Ask the Lord to forgive you and keep on going. All right? But just know that fasting is not a time that you got to be giving out public service announcements. The only difference is between a husband and a wife where they're letting each other know, hey, I'm, I'm fasting and all that good stuff. And whatever they agree on, they go from there. So let's just learn together, guys. Let's move forward. But just dropping a few nuggets here for you guys before we start off on Sunday. I'm excited. Um, one other thing I'm going to say during that time, you're going to be praying, right? You should be praying now anyway, but during that time, we'll be praying. And guys, one of the things that I saw here in Matthew chapter 6 that I thought was kind of cool was when Jesus said in verse 5, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when you pray, enter into thy closet. That means your little secret space. It doesn't even have to be a closet. Just wherever. It could be your car. It could be the patio. Wherever you like to pray. The bathroom. The dining area. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. And check this out. Verse 7 says, But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask him. And then you see from verses 9 through 13 about the, you know, the Lord's prayer. So what does that mean, guys? When we, we get into the presence of the Lord and when you're praying on your own, you don't need to be thinking you got to pray long and loud and oh, louder, oh, loud, <laughs> loud. no, <laughs> yo, just keep it simple. Keep it real. The Lord wants to know what's in your heart and talk to the Lord. Be genuine. I learned how to pray. It just kind of happened. But a lot of times, guys, when I'm in, when I'm talking to the Lord, I'm really just talking to God, like without boohooing and talking to him, I'm talking to my father. That's what I do. I know when I'm standing and when I'm before the people, when I'm doing a corporate prayer, we go warrior mode, you know what I'm saying? And so that's different. But I know as I'm praying, you guys are praying with me too. So we are we are praying to our Father and warring together, okay? But don't get caught up in people that's telling you, oh, if you ain't prayed for an hour, you ain't prayed. Um, No, okay? You go in and you speak and you be genuine and you be real with the Lord. And I'm trying to tell you when you do that, Oh man, it's going to be awesome. You could go before the Lord and if you have a song in your heart, sing to your father. If you have something, just read a poem to the Lord. You want to write God a poem? Please do that if it's on your mind. You feel you feel motivated and you want to draw something. Get in the presence of the Lord and just show him. Lord, this is what was in my spirit to draw to you. I thank you for this. Your person you dance, dance before the Lord. Make up a song in your heart before the Lord. But the bottom line is sit and be genuine. Too often people are making the Lord so unapproachable. You have no idea how much he loves you, how much he loves me, how much he loves us. And he wants us to realize that because if you realize it, that I'm here to tell you, then you're going to approach him in such a way where you still have respect and reverence. But the more you get to know him, the more he's going to just permeate your heart. and You're going to fall in love with the Lord. You want nothing more than him. All right, guys, so just some quick tips here. All right, remember, before, during, or after the fast, you guys can hit me up. It is my YouTube email. It is trifina39 at gmail.com. It is also found in my above my about link on my channel. So, yeah. All right, guys. Peace.